When the Asus ROG Zephyrus GX501 dropped last year, we suspected it would be the end-all and be-all for gaming laptops. That is, until we saw the price tag. Although it was a spectacle to behold, gorgeous and thin without compromising on power, the first notebook to leverage Nvidia's Max-Q technology was out of reach for most gamers due to its $1,999, £2,289, £3,929 cost of entry. The latest version of the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming, then, is the antithesis to the Asus ROG Zephyrus GX501. In fact, it's more comparable to the Razer Blade and the Gigabyte Saber Pro 15. However, unlike both of those options, the Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming now holds an NVIDIA Max-Q internal design, meaning all of its components have been squeezed into a frame that's under an inch thick, and that, theoretically, its inventive cooling system will keep them all from catching fire as a result. For an aspiring PC gamer on a budget, the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming, henceforth known as Inspiron 15 Gaming Dash seems like an obvious choice, as you'll soon discover from its astonishingly low range of prices. But, for under a grand, is it possible for a laptop to deliver on its promise of true portability matched with the performance necessary to run graphically intensive, AAA blockbuster titles? Let's find out. At the time of writing, you can buy the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming we reviewed for $979 from Dell in the US.